Hello, if uh, you've installed the FreeNAS uh, Plex Media Server plugin and are having issues and you can't seem to get it to work, um, well, I finally uh, figured out a solution that works for me and I think it'll work for you as well. Um, I've been uh, ripping my hair out for about a week and a half um, after installing the uh, Plex plugin. Um, started on a virtual machine couldn't get it to work um, then I put it on my uh, my regular semi-temporary machine and still couldn't get it to work um, I'm a Linux user um, about 99.5 percent of the time I'm using Linux I do have uh, one Windows machine um, and trying to get this thing to work with both would not work um, on the uh, virtual box machine I set that up with all Windows permissions um, for the uh, data sets uh, users everything else everything else was Windows permissions on the um, the Linux machine I have I was uh, setting up the FreeNAS server for my Linux machine um, so all the permissions on that that uh, temporary semi-temporary FreeNAS machine was set up uh, for uh, Unix permissions. So let me uh, demonstrate on the issues I'm having or was having and uh, you might be having these issues as well. So when I go to add library, go to movies, I go add folders, browse for media folder, and I go to the FreeNAS folder that I created with the uh, FreeNAS team tutorial, you'll notice here that it's blank. There's nothing there. And over here on my FreeNAS Plex share are the folders that I created. So Plex is not seeing them. So I knew right away it was a permissions issue. But like I said, a week and a half of just doing this and that just wouldn't work. And then I had a breakthrough last night. So let me show you. Uh, what I did. So let me move this out of the way. And we'll cancel that. And we'll cancel that. Alright, so let's go to the FreeNAS machine. Alright, so again, this is all set up for Unix permissions. Um, I'm not going to go over the uh, tutorial that the FreeNAS team uh, did. They did a great job. Um, so if you get to the point at the end where it's time to add the folders to your Plex plugin and it doesn't work, and come over to this uh, tutorial, and uh, this should get you. This should get you set up. All right. So first thing we want to do is. Uh, oh, once again, this does work for Windows too. So you'll follow all the same steps if you have uh, Windows uh, permissions set. So first thing you want to do is on your plugins, you might you you want to make sure that your Plex is running. Um, I don't know, you might have stopped it for some reason or whatever, but just make sure it's running. Um, and then once you do, do that, go over to Jails, and we want to select the shell from the jail. So you don't want this shell down here. You want to come over to the Jails, hit the three dots, select Shell. Okay, now, now what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is change the directory. So we're going to type in CD and forward slash, and then Enter. And now we're going to list the contents of this directory. And we're going to use the dash L flag to be able to show uh, ownership and uh, what groups each folder and file belong to. And this is the folder we're interested in right here is Plex Media Server. Um, and you notice that the owner is Plex and the group is Plex. And this folder right here is kind of what gave me my breakthrough. Um, I needed I needed uh, I knew that the Plex user and, and Plex group were able to access Plex Media Server because it was it was uh, being I was able to see it on the Plex uh, app. Um, my FreeNAS folder on the on the virtual machine was grayed out. I couldn't see I could see it, but it was grayed out. So that was giving me a clue where to start. So um, we're gonna go and and. Uh, access the Plex Media Server folder now. So I'm going to change directory and I'm going to type a capital P 
and I'm only I'm doing this uh, and I'm hitting the tab and I I've got to do a, uh, an extra step here because I, if you notice I got a plex folder here there's nothing in that I actually can delete that but in order to account for these spaces I need to put a backslash and then one space and then hit tab again and then I'm going to hit enter now I'm going to list the contents with the dash L flag of this folder and there is the free NAS folder that I created when I created the mount points, the, the uh, destination mount point. So what I want to do, first thing I want to do is change the ownership, I'm sorry, change the group of this folder here. So to do that, it's C-H-O-W-N space colon, and then we're going to change, uh, we're going to type in uh, Plex, and then the name of the folder, which is FreeNAS. So gonna, I can either type FreeNAS completely or type capital F, and hit the tab and you just want to make sure that whatever you name your folders if they're uppercase or lowercase you need to make sure you use the same case or it won't you won't be able to access them uh, this is all case sensitive so now I'm going to hit the enter button or enter key and we can list that one more time with the dash L flag to verify the changes and now you can see the owner is still 1000 and Plex is is the group. Now this 1000 uh, user, uh, user ID that was assigned by my FreeNAS machine when I created the account, account Plex user. That was a, uh, assigned the user ID 1000 and a group of 1002. So now we're going to access the FreeNAS folder. So I'm going to change directory CD space capital F tab enter. We're going to list the contents of this uh, folder with the dash L flag, and that's going to show us per uh, owner and group. So now we want to change all these folders to the Plex group. And so we're going to chown space colon, and I'm just going to type in the first letter, capital M, with the tab key. Why ain't that working? That's I know why I didn't put in the I did not put in the uh, new group so plex and then capital M tab enter all right so we can verify that first change was made by CD I'm sorry LS and with the dash L flag so now you can see that movies the movie folder is same owner and then now it's the Plex group. So let's change the rest of the folders. So I'm just going to hit the up key on my keyboard twice. I'm going to delete the movie folder. I'm going to type into uh, capital O, hit the tab key, enter. I'm going to hit the up arrow key once. Delete the uh, other videos folder, capital P for pictures, enter, or tab, and then enter. And now I want to do the same thing for TV shows. So I'm going to backspace to delete that. Capital T, tab, enter. Now if we list the dash L flag, you can see now that every folder here it now belongs to the group Plex. The user is still the same. So now we can exit out of this. So exit. And now we can go back into Plex. Now the permissions that we've changed are, or the ownership, uh, is uh, instant. You don't have to refresh Plex or restart it or anything like that. So I'll go to Add Library. I'll go to Movies. I'll go to Add Folders. Browse for Media. Go to Free NAS, and there are my folders. So we'll select the Movies for the movie. Add. Add Library. Okay, that one's done. Now I'm going to add, I'll just add one more. And I'll add photos. I'll go to add folders, browse for media folder, free NAS, pictures, add, and library. Now to verify that that's working, I'll come over here and bring over the Plex share. I'll open up the pictures folder and I'll just drag in a picture that I downloaded off the internet for this uh, tutorial. So that's that's in the 
pictures uh, folder. I'm going to just move this out of the way. And now I'm going to click the photo and I will scan library files. And there it is. And it works. And it took me a week and a half to figure this out. I hope it helps you. Um, I wish uh, I wish I, it didn't take me this long to figure it out. Maybe there's an easier way. I don't know. But um, I'm glad that at least I got mine working. And I hope that uh, uh, you can get yours working too. And I hope you enjoy Plex. And have a great day. And thank you very much for watching. Oh, I don't. You don't have to subscribe. I, I don't know how many other videos I'm going to make, um, and you don't even have to give me any likes. But if if it works for you, great. All right. Have a great day.